Okay, so I'm going to get on uh, and put in some more stuff. Well, no, you know what? No, you, you guys can hang around for a bit. So, when you put in um, like blacksmiths and, um, and tailors, I think keep them close to a marketplace. Uh, it, it's definitely good production wise. See, look, wool, and, and still short of leather, even though, look, look at all the cows we've got, and we're still, I oh, see this guy's got leather and no wool, <laughs> this guy's got a bit of both, um, yeah, so, I think, well, let's see, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, hmm, yeah, I think we can probably go another couple of tailors up here, so let's do that. Um, now yeah, we're going to bang these in. Not bang them in on, on this side up here. Yeah, that's that's good enough. Uh, now, blacksmith. Now, where can I put a blacksmith? See, on the basis that we're, we're buying in the iron and coal, we want our blacksmiths kind of close to... Um, our traders, or, or at least the marketplace is close to our traders. So I've, I've kept all my blacksmiths. Uh, I've got a, a, a few down there. There's three there. And um, the rest are in here. There's one. Is that another one? Yeah, that's another one. So I'm thinking... I'd really like to put them in up here, but I just I don't think there's any room to... Oh, I've already put two in up there. Hmm. Well, we've got... We do have a few bits of space which are not like a million miles away. I wonder if I can fit a blacksmith in there. Only way to find... Oh, I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll pop a blacksmith in there. And, um... Oh, no, it won't fit in there. won't fit in there. Oh, we'll fit in. Yeah, we'll fit in there. Okay, so boom. So two blacksmiths. So we've added two blacksmiths, two tailors. That puts us in. Should put us in fairly good shape. I'll keep an eye on the logs. Um, herbalists don't seem to be keeping up at the moment. So I may even. I no. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have to keep a, an eye on the herbalists. It does seem to be one of the hardest things to produce like enough herbs at this level. Um, oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Let's crank up the the chapel. We can put that in now. And I think we probably should put in a few more houses up here. I don't think that's a bad idea at all. Just a few. I'm not going for the, like, putting down ten houses at a time anymore. Um, okay, so... Right, I think we can just let this run now. Uh, and just, like, monitor the levels. And if things look good, um, then start to expand. But I, wa I want to see all of the production numbers, like, heading upwards. Let's take, let's take a quick look. So, what did I say? So, we're... 58.59 at the moment, uh, which is which is good, but uh, I'm going to need to find some more space to put some more pastures in. Now, what I would have liked to have done is um, over here, over here. That's this is where I was going to do it. Is um, extend the pastures out, maybe get rid of this forest node, but of course with you know. We're lacking herbs, so that's kind of a bit of a problem. But there are some here. I mean, I could I could put in probably maybe I don't know two or three pastures in this area, and I can certainly extend down here and put a couple of pastures in. So you know what? Gonna do it. Talking about it, just do it. Um, I'm gonna leave a little bit of room. Maybe like enough for like two rows of houses. Is that? Yep, yep. Oh come on. Twenty by twenty. 
Ooh. Might get a few of these in, you know. Now, one definite tip is, like, keep your pasture sizes the same. Like, whatever size you go for, just just keep them all the same size. Because um, when you want to shuffle your cows around... I'm just looking to see if there's... Yeah, they are definitely both 20 by 20. Good. Um, if you, if you want to, like, empty a field because it's got uh, an infestation, you want to be able to move them into, like, any field. So, we'll pop a couple in there, and I'm thinking that we start to extend up here. Now, if I've put in a couple of pastures down here, so that's going to be four herdsmen, so I need to put in two houses for them. But, uh, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait until they're actually built before I put the houses in. And then, like, when I'm ready to actually, you know, put some cows in there, then I'll actually build some houses. Let's do the same up here. And... I think about... Okay, so... We want it on that, that kind of line. Let's do about there. 20, what did I say? 20.20... 20. Oh, got it wrong. There. Yep, 20 by 20, and... And 20 by 20! I could probably, I could probably, I might be able to squeeze another one in there. Is there room? Oh, oh. No! Only a 19 by 19. <sighs> ah, well, never mind. Okay, so that's another four pastures. So, yeah. Looking good. Did I talk, did I talk to that merchant? Hmm. Apparently, I, like, I don't remember. <laughs> okay. And, all right, so... <clears throat> so, um, back to letting it run and uh, monitoring. Okay, I, I had to show you this, because, like, like you, look, we haven't moved on. It's year 132. I just want to show you this. This is ridiculous. <laughs> okay, a minute ago we were up by, like, 1,000, and now we've gone to down by 11,000 which uh, okay uh, answers on a postcard please because because I don't understand that I do not understand that it's kind of insane okay we've got a trader and I just wanted to show you um, like what the current situation let me pause this for a second um, so great we've got a food merchant who's turned up and uh, we're like almost full of everything um, so I wanted to show you these the, the, the venison the beef and the mutton trade for three so you can convert that three to one for um, like fruit or vegetables and we're producing a lot of meat right now so uh, so that's a you know, pretty sensible thing. Uh, especially, not so much the fruit, because we're producing some fruit, but to get the um, the vegetables, it helps um, helps with the uh, with the health. Um, so, like, I mean, with this... Oh, and another tip. Like, rather than, like, searching to type, like, 300 or whatever, or 348, um, just hit 999. Right, and it'll immediately go to the maximum. So if you're gonna if you're gonna do the maximum, just hit nine nine nine, and and <laughs> yeah, there you go. So we can just buy like ten thousand food, um, which uh, which I'm gonna do. So there we go. Trade ten thousand food, and, and, and an injection of ten thousand food makes a hell of a difference. Believe me on that one. 
Okay, I had to show you this. There is outrage in the village. <clears throat> Robertram, the tailor, was murdered. That's, I think that's the first murder that we've had. Oh my god. Um, but since we don't have, like, police or militia or anything like that, um, pff, I guess he gets away with it. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, I, actually, while I was, I, I was actually up here uh, putting in these um, couple of tailors. So we're up to 28 tailors now. And uh, the other two blacksmiths have come on stream. So we're up to uh, nine blacksmiths and 28 tailors. But we are, like, almost out of coal. So I'm hoping that a, a coal merchant's going to turn up very soon. Um, but, you know, like, worst comes to the worst. The great thing with the blacksmiths is that we can always switch them to making the iron tools. So no problem there. Um, we're still having problems keeping up with um, the firewood. So I think the next uh, the next move is going to be to um, to put in a couple more uh, woodcutters. So I'm thinking probably I don't know, like maybe up here because we um, we usually seem to have a few logs around here. Although if we're going to be like buying the majority, ooh, yeah, yeah, I'm thinking. I'm thinking maybe even like down south. We've got four in down there. I'm thinking, yeah. See, we've got, yeah, so we've got a bunch of logs down here. Oh, yeah, I'm thinking that's probably, you know, a good idea. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to pop in a couple of uh, woodcutters. Um... I haven't got to go far to get stuff from the marketplace. So, uh, I think I'll put them around that way. Yeah, I'm going to put a couple of these guys <coughs> there. And I'm going to give them a nice big stockpile. And I think I'm going to... How big? 7x10. That's a decent size. <coughs> So, um, yeah, and I, I may even pop, <clears throat> like, a couple more in or something. Mate, you know what? <laughs> See, I, I say it, and I think, yeah, sounds like a good idea. We could pop another one in there. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. Because, um, I mean, we're not, we're just not keeping up with demand at the moment, and that's eating into the coal supplies, so, uh, it's definitely good news. Okay, I was just having a, a little look in the town hall. And uh, I noticed that we have got massive amounts of beef stored up. Uh, not so much. I mean, we, well, I mean, we've got a decent amount of venison. Uh, not so much the mutton. So what I'm actually going to do is uh, is adjust the traders to reflect that. So let's go to the old inventory. And what I'm going to do is like whack this up to say a thousand and then have um, what did I say oh yeah the venison was second so we'll bump that up to 500 because it was about half of the beef and then the mutton I think we're gonna take out so we'll have a thousand a thousand beef and uh, 500 venison in each of the traders I'll go and do the other two So I've just split the uh, the sheep and the cows into uh, into these two. Uh, everything is just flying at the moment. Uh, I mean, look at this. I mean, we got uh, eight. We're up to 850 logs. We've got uh, 1,300 stone, 700 iron. We've got 1,300 coal, which is amazing. We've got 1,200 tools. Um, the 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 coats. <laughs> Is, is always low because that's what we're trading with at the moment so uh, so that kind of never gets too high um, food it's come down a bit I mean we, we were up to like 40k we've come down to 26 I haven't bought any food uh, sort of very recently uh, it's still only like it's year 136 
So it, it, it is staggering how quickly things have just got, like, pretty brilliant. I'd completely forgotten to show you... Um, I don't know why I paused that there. Um, I'd completely forgotten to show you these bridges that I put in. Um, because I took a look at this and I realised that if anybody wants to get from sort of over this side to over this, they had to come, like all the way down here and go through the town so oh, is that, oh, it's a, is that a bunch of nomads hanging around let's have a look I think it could be you know all these people say who are you yeah nomads yeah we don't want your sort round here and the reason we don't want their sort of... Look, oh, there they go. I'm, I'm actually going to... I want... Can you... Oh, you can't follow them. There we go. Conga line. Sim City all over again. There'll be traffic jams, you name it. <laughs> I'm following them because I want to see them like disappear into a cliff face again. Like they did before. I, I, I'm sure it was nomads that when we saw them before. They're, look! Just disappearing into the little hills. How weird is that? I'll tell you what, there were a fair old few of them. Must have been, must have been over a hundred. Okay, cool. Well, that was kind of interesting. I was talking about this bridge, wasn't I? Yeah. Um, so I put in this bridge, and like pretty much as soon as I put it in, amazing how many people are using this bridge. So uh, I think that definitely helped out on the productivity front. So that was a very good idea, and I, I, I think that's well worth doing if you've got any. Um, sort of long stretches of water like this put a few bridges in which makes me wonder if there are any other places where I should uh, I should put a bridge in I put a bridge in there did that a while ago um, so like quite a long stretch down here but having said that there isn't really like any reason for them to go over here so I think we're safe there Yes, yeah, so I, I think we're fairly good on the old bridges now, but uh, yeah, it, I, 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 it's a shame you can't do like bigger bridges and double-decker bridges and stuff. Oh man, see, I'm enjoying myself now. The, the food's doing well. I only bought a lot of food recently, so things are definitely coming along. Um, you know, I, I can afford to crank up some more fishermen, you know. Let's do that. Let's get that up to 50. Um, so we've still got, like, another 14 to go in there. Uh, like, everything's like everything's good. Everything's really good. And you can see the coats is coming up now. Over 100. So let's go and have a check on these guys. So he's got, like... Uh, he's got 64 coats, which isn't many. For some reason, it takes a while for the coats to get down to this one. Um, so I've actually doubled up his um, venison and beef to help him out a little bit. Uh, if we go up to these guys, these guys have usually got a decent supply, in which case they probably won't. Okay, this guy's 172. They're all set to 400. And this guy, this guy's at 400. This one always seems to get full first. I don't know why, but uh, but he does. So um, yeah, I mean, other than that, not a great deal's changed. Oh, I forgot to put in those extra herdsmen because we put those. Um, I split those two fields, so that's good. We've got a few more fishermen to go. I'm keeping the foresters at uh, at 18. Um, but I've been buying logs, and uh, it's dipping down. I could do is buying a few more. What else? What else? 